often has severe heart complications and he needs to take his medication on time. Without a smart pill bottle to remind him, this is what happened. Now this is dating time. Forgets to take his pill, sleeps into the night. Severely passes his time to take his cardiac medication and wakes up, but unfortunately. <laughs> However, this time when Alvin has a smart pill bottle to remind him to take his medications, He's alive and well. Hi, we're team number 17, and together we've created a smart pill bottle. Essentially what we wanted to do is make a pill bottle that keeps track if the patient has taken the pill for the day and how many pills they have left in their pill bottle. Um, what we wanted to do um, to keep track if the patient has taken the pill is that we have an IR sensor to detect if the pill bottle has been opened and also a pressure sensitive resistor to count how many pills there are. So as you can see, um, when the pill bottle is opened, um, this blue LED um, indicates that um, the pill bottle has been opened. And if we close it shut, then it will turn off. This on and off, um, which signals the open and closing of the pill bottle, um, this information will be sent to our app and it would be able to detect if the patient has taken the pill. Also, um, we can also sense how many pills are in the pill bottle. So if we have this uh, red LED here, it's connected to the pressure sensitive resistor, and the brighter it is, then the more pills um, are in the pill bottle. And also we have this information also sent um, via our Arduino to our app that also detects how many pills there are. So essentially, um, we can detect um, if the patient has taken the pill and how many pills are left. So how our smart pill bottle works is essentially we have two core components. We have the pressure sensitive resistor and also the IR receiver and emitter. So these are the two core components, two core circuits of um, our whole entire device. So we have here the IR receiver and emitter circuit and the pressure sensitive resistor. So when we have the IR receiver and emitter um, right here um, close together, and in our Arduino code, we took the input values and mapped it onto analog values. And we empirically tested that when the IR receiver and emitter is really close together, then the values are approximately um, 30 to 50. When they're sufficiently far apart, we've tested that they're approximately um, 500 or greater. So in our code, um, if the value is greater than 500, then we would notify our app that the patient has opened the pill bottle and has taken the pill. We also, for testing purposes, if it's greater than 500, we set the LED light to be blue. For our second component, the pressure sensitive resistor, we also uh, map the pressure sensor weight values onto uh, analog values from 0 to 1,023. And each time we put a weight in, we empirically tested um, the analog weight value change that each um, pill has caused. And we set the appropriate threshold so that whenever we put a new weight in, we're able to detect how many um, pills are in the bottle. 